This tutorial is designed to teach you a little bit about PowerPoint online via Office 365. Um, it is very similar to Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel, which were explained in the last two tutorials. Um, to access, access PowerPoint online, you need to log into your Office 365 account via the link on the WCPS website for employee email or by searching for Office 365 login through Google or whatever search tool you use. Um, when you get into Office 365, if this is the screen that you see, you can simply click on PowerPoint Online, or if you see something different, you can use the grid box in the top left-hand corner and access it that way. Just like Word and Excel, PowerPoint Online is a collaborative cloud-based application that allows you to make live edits to, to PowerPoint presentations while other people are also making edits to it at the same time. It also saves all changes to the cloud-based um, server, if you will, for Office 365. And so essentially, you any changes that you make to the PowerPoint are automatically saved and can be accessed from anywhere in the world. So um, to get us started, I am going to um, open a, a uh, presentation that I've already created. But if I wanted to start a new one, I could choose from any of these templates, or I could create a blank one. Um, so I'm going to print, click on presentation one. I actually have this up on another computer already um, to show you how, what the collaborative part of it looks like. Uh, but once I'm in here, I need to um, basically select to edit it. So I'm going to edit the presentation. Now again, I could choose to download it and edit it in PowerPoint on my computer. However, when I do that, the changes are not saved live and people who are collaborating on the document cannot see the changes. So this is kind of how we used to you know, email documents back and forth to each other. So I'd make a change, I'd send it to my teammate, she'd work on it for a little while, make her changes, send it on to another teammate, and everybody had to wait and make sure that they were using the most recent copy of a document. This online Office 365 eliminates that problem because people can be working on it at the same time and all changes that anybody makes are live saved so that you can see them and work with them. So I am going to choose to edit in PowerPoint online. Now again, it is a light version of PowerPoint so there are a few things that you can't do unless you do it on the desktop version and in my opinion the only time that you would ever want to use the desktop version these days is if there were something advanced that you wanted to do that you couldn't actually do um, in the online version. I haven't encountered anything like that um, so for basic documents and presentations and things that we would be using um, the online version is sufficient um, not that there might never be a time where there would be something you wanted to do that you couldn't but it would be um, rare. So. Again, I'm not going to go over how to create a PowerPoint presentation. If that's what you're looking for, this is not the tutorial for you. Um, but I could sh make changes um, here just like I would um, in the online, or excuse me, the desktop version that we should all probably be familiar with. I can add a new slide. Um, it gives me the choices for what I want that to look like. I can um, insert all sorts of things, including pictures and shapes and clip art and text boxes. I can change the design. I can add transitions. Um, I can add animations. And I can then view it in presentation mode. I can add um, notes for presentation mode. So all of those things are the same as what you would see um, on the online, or on the, excuse me, on the desktop version. Now, I'm in on my other computer, and you'll see here where it says Erica Hartley is also editing. Um, I'm just going to make a couple changes from my other computer so that you can see um, what this looks like. Now, uh, right here, it shows where I'm at. So I'm going to go on to the second um, slide and make some changes, and you should see that they will come up 
um, here. So I did this from my other computer, much like another user would do. So if you were sharing this with someone else and they were making changes, this is what it would look like. Automatically updates. We can be working at the same time. All the functions are available to us um, in that way. So again, then if I click File, um, I can view the information about this presentation. I can create something new. Um, I can open something up. I can save this one. I can save the online copy, which is already kind of saved for me, so I don't really need to do that. I could rename it. I can download um, a, a file in different formats to my computer. Remember, if you download a copy to your computer, it is now saved on your computer. It's also still saved on the cloud, but any changes that you make to the copy that's saved on your computer do not automatically change to the cloud um, document. So that's why it's important to use the online version of these tools whenever you're working on something collaboratively or when you're working on a document that you want to be able to access from anywhere, anytime. Uh, so that gives us a basic overview of PowerPoint Online. Um, up next, I'm going to show you OneDrive and teach you how that organizes all your files and how you can use that to access things.